All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about the BDP tabs and accordions function. Now, for those of you that um, use tabs and accordions, will know the benefit of it. Um, but basically, the idea with using tabs and accordions is to give you um, <clears throat> more space or to be more effective in targeting your customers and to prevent them from having to work through a lot of content that, that's not really relevant to them. Now, I'm just going to go to a website that we run. Um, now, if you scroll down here, it's only about two pages in total in content, if you look at it quickly. Yet, if somebody would come to this site and they would, would want to have, a, uh, they were looking for specific content, um, for instance, they would like to know exactly what the prices and the info is, they don't have to read through. Um, approximately on this site, there's about 17 pages or to 20 pages worth of content. They don't have to really read through everything, they can just check and have a look at where exactly it is, what they're looking for. Um, as it's almost like creating a little page with menus inside the page and they can say, oh look, these are the prices or we want to have a look at the virtual tour and everything's available there. And that's the way that, uh, for example, for our tabs work. So let's just look at something else that we uh, run. If I go to the course layout page, then I can, for instance, I've added some, uh, some small uh, areas here, three working areas. And just to make sure that people only see what they need to see and what they need to read, I've added some accordion. So if they click on this, it's going to open and it's going to show all the available um, course materials or the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the what, or exactly what the course consists, consists of for the specific years and the diplomas or whatever they're doing. So this is a very nice way to uh, to keep your site from being cluttered with a, a large amount of content and almost driving fear into your visitors for having to read too much. So it keeps everything contained. Right, so what we've done, however, is we've used a, <clears throat> uh, a very advanced, we've created a very advanced system to, to do this with. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create these um, to look exactly the way you want them and this is the only plugin that I know that uh, can create tabs and accordions this way so what you can do is you can just click on the tabs and accordions alright and from here on we're gonna have some options alright so if you go into the tabs and accordions we can either create we can test uh, do a tab set or you can do an accordion if I refresh it this is going to be an accordion and then we can say if you want to load this accordion, we can load this closed or load this open. Uh, the, that that uh, chef um, example I just used, that the accordion was closed at the time that you got to it, um, so that it, it didn't uh, it didn't uh, take up all the space. And so I'm just going to say load closed. And let's say I'm going to use about five tabs. So you can select how many tabs um, you want. Just refresh, so you can see the tabs here. <clears throat> all right, now this this um, uh, training video we're going to be using these five because I want to know you, show you exactly how you can going to insert content in here. All right now the first thing that you need to know is that we can change the, the coloring of the text and there's actually three um, three stages that it, this uh, set is always going to be in. It's either going to be uh, closed which is um, currently which is these uh, th uh, tabs they are closed if you look at it now then you've got a closed look which, with a mouse over, which is this one. Um, it, when it goes dark, this is the mouse over. And then it's got the open look. So this tab 3 at the moment it has the open look. And we can change, basically we can change three um, of the color settings within each one of these stages <coughs> that it is in. First one is going to be the text color, the, the next is going to be the background color, and the, the last bit is going to be the outline color. So just before we get there, let's select the type of uh, corners we want to use. So let's use the rounded corners. It's going to look like that. All right. And now let's start changing the text. So let's start designing this form. So what I suggest you know is that you have a good idea of what your website looks like. So you, you want to basically use the same color schemes that you are using on your website. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to grab this website that we have here and we're going to have a look. So we've got a 
uh, orange color that we're working with and we've got this gray and we've got white um, and we're working with black so if I'd like to create an accordion for this side I'm going to use this specific uh, the specific information now I'm going to add a link to the bottom of the page for a little program called color picker it's a free little program and it allows you to actually pick the actual colors on your on your pages I use this quite often for my uh, design work so it's called pixel pick and there we go so you can see these little programs wherever I'm going to go over the screen it's going to give me what I need or the color scheme that I need to make uh, this work right so what I want to do is first thing and I've got a I've got actually working on two screens so I'm just going to go and we're gonna go and jump up and down a bit uh, the first thing I need to know is that with the uh, normal settings um, I want this to be a bit lighter so when I'm going over the text I want the background to basically be this um, this dark orange all right so I'm just going to go and have a look at the color scheme of this dark orange and if we look at it I'm just going to write those down quickly um, it is going to be double if a 800 all right so I'm going to go and for the over color mouse over color I'm going to make the back background uh, double if a 800 this is really really a nice function and I'm sure you're gonna really enjoy this okay so that's the background color let's have a look at the outline colors I haven't been using any outline colors on this site so uh, let's just see what it's like now it is a gray I'm just gonna leave it I can look at that later as well and now for the the standard look the way it looks now I might want to go slightly slightly uh, lighter uh, yellow uh, yellow color uh, to fit with the rest of the the coloring so let us just have a look add a color that is slightly lighter so if I drop the if I go to um, if I use this and I'm just gonna paste I'm just gonna paste it in there that's the color that I have now I want something that's a bit lighter so I'm gonna drag this to the lighter side over there I'm gonna grab this and for my static look I'm gonna change the color background color to this lighter color I'm gonna refresh right so now what we've got is we've got a bit of a lighter orange and then we've got this darker orange there to when we're going over the text now what I usually like to do is make the outline when it's like this make the outline also the same as the darker background color so I'm going to take this darker color here I'm going to paste it in the outline color and if I refresh you'll see now it's it's nice it's orange and it is going to go it's going to look like this when I open it up so let's have a look All right the text is uh, dark it's, it's nice it's black that I've been using for the normal links so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the text as it is and I go over the links here I can see the text remains black I want to keep with that I don't want it to turn white I want it to stay black so let's just go and take the, check, the, the text color and change this to the black as well and now if I go over it it's going to stay black and basically if I would want to add an accordion to this side then that would be the way to do it I would be done by now um, what I can also do is I can go and change the the open look the way that it's looking now I can make this lines I can make that a um, uh, an orange as well um, I actually I like it the way it looks the way it looks now and I can change the maybe I can change the text color to this um, to this orange as well where is it I'll show you how this works and it looks like this so you can really you can basically design and uh, go crazy with this because it's got 
it, it allows you to change all the basic functions that you need to be able to change. And you can click on tab set if you'd like to send this back to a tab set. And you can change this to a square if you'd like. It's going to be squared up. All right. And I'm just going to keep this an accordion. I'm going to keep this rounded, fresh. And I can add tabs if I'd like. And I can remove tabs if I'd like. Right, there we go. So I'm just going to leave it on five. And I'm going to refresh. <coughs> and what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this back to a uh, blackish color that we have there. Because we, let's keep the font color all the same. And let's refresh. And okay, so now it's, it's all good. It's done. And what I can do now is I can insert this into the page. I'm just going to go, I'm going to click on insert and it's going to insert a lot of content onto my page or shortcode. Now the nice thing once again about the shortcode is that I can go and change these colors afterwards if I like to. It's not really difficult to edit this. What I do need to know is exactly where the accordions is and there's the first one and if you go and you say enter you just exactly at the same spot you'll see that you've got all the different accordions nicely lined up. I'm just going to refresh this. And there you go. Let's have a look. I've got this on my other website, so it's not going to be on this one. But I've created it. And if I click on it, you'll see that it's working perfectly and it's doing what I needed to do. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to just add some content in there so you can go and change the names. You'll see the names, uh, is, there's the ID, the name of the, the accordion, is accordion 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's say I'll change this to uh, about, I want accordion 2 to say features, and let's make this services. other contact I'm just using some examples I can update this I'll show you just now how this is going to work if I, if I reload this it's going to change all the names of the tabs right so what makes this very nice is if somebody comes to your website and they are looking for your contact detail they don't have to go to, to two, three or four pages if they're on a page, they can just go to click and contact them and they know exactly what they want to do. If they want to know what services you offer, you can just click there. It makes the content available very nicely and very easily. And it works and looks very nice. Alright, so now what I can do is I can just change the content. So if I would like to add some more content in here, let's just do that quickly. Add some <clears throat> a few lines of content and paragraph and some more content. I'm just going to update this to show you exactly what. Okay, click on about. You see, there's all the content that I've just added. And <clears throat> now, what I can do is I can let's just use the same, I'm just going to use the same content that I've got here. use this for the second one and I am also going to add an image just through the normal image editor now just going to insert this there and I'd like to align this image just go and drop this one down and I'm going to align this image to the right let's just see what we update Fresh and features. Right, so there's the image. What you need to know is that um, we're going to have to move this image up there, otherwise this isn't going to look right. So I'm going to go and I'm going to just quickly drag the image and drop it right in there. You'll see the line at the back. And I'm going to update. If I refresh, see there's the image where it should be. Right now. You need to understand 
that uh, when it comes to um, when you only want to insert an image, you need to give it some. Sp you need to make some space for it somewhere. All right. So if if you need to. Um, If you don't have any content in here, let me just show you quickly where we're at. Let me just move this down. Refresh this. Okay, you'll see that it doesn't close up very nicely. Right, so what you need to do is you just need to add some space there. So I'm just going to go and add, uh, add some space just to make sure that the accordion load, you know, that it loads far, far enough. Right, so I can just I can, I can remove some space. Yeah, let me just see. Right, there we are. So it's looking very nicely. And let's have a look at uh, something else. Go to this here. I'm just going to go to YouTube quickly. Get get the embed code for an image. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm just going to go and grab this embed code uh, under the video. And then what I want to do is I would like to go and. Go and paste it in here. We need to paste it in the actual HTML. So we're going to go and look. There's accordion three, and we need to dump that right there. So I'm going to paste it there. And this might be a bit big, but let's just see. I'm going to update. What's nice about this iframes of YouTube is that it's going to end up here, and I can resize it quite easily. And let's just see what we get. Right, so here's the video. It's actually it's embedded, it's gonna play here as well. And a very nice function. So you can see I can really I can compact a lot of information in here and I can even go and I can drop a, a little opt-in form here or an opt-in box. Um, and this is very very customizable, so it, it makes it really nice to work with. And I'm sure you're gonna find that it will add, uh, make navigation for your clients and your customer much easier. What you can also do is you can use this with the layout editor if you'd like. Uh, let me just show you what I'm going to do. I am going to drop this down a bit. Now for you that use uh, um, specific themes or premium themes, uh, we use a th uh, themes called Elegant Themes. I've, I've got a link uh, on the on the page for them and um, th they've got uh, amazing themes it really uh, the website that we build with it uh, really looks stunning so if I go to uh, let's have a look this this is this one that I just uh, just had a look at the chef site something that we did with the elegant themes um, our company website something that we did with elegant themes as well uh, and the uh, um, the product website, the product website for for Best Design plugin as well. So we, we use this the themes for um, for quite a lot of of our marketing. What we've done is we've tested um, the plugin with this themes because they're quite uh, there's a lot of jQuery and JavaScript and stuff uh, available. This theme that I'm showing you the uh, um, the videos that we're doing the testing on and I'm doing the videos on it's also designed by Elegant Teams you can see that and um, it, it gives us a decent test platform they also have some sh some of these short uh, short coat and shortcuts available if I click on the text you'll see there's something that I can add one halves and one thirds and it is it's not nearly as as efficient as the BDP because we are trying to be, uh, add uh, account, accounts, um, we're trying to add, add CSS styles and everything to our system and we do work with uh, images and we work with a lot of different things but 
they also have a, a very nice very easy function to use so if you don't want to go all the way and design and and you you were using um elegant themes you don't want to go all the way and use the um the designer uh, for our designer for generating a very very high uh, quality or high standard um, layout uh, you can just use the internal um, Coulomb generator as well like I said what I want to do is I want to show you exactly how we can move now I want to I'm going to uh, make this a bit smaller and throw it into half of the page so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to the layout manager and I'm just going to go and select a double layout like that I'm just going to insert it there and I'm just going to get some space I want no, I want this accordion which is there all this content because I'm not going to use the I'm going to use the actual HTML to make sure I copy everything exactly the way I need to and I want to go drop it and let's say we want that on the left of the page I'm going to go and drop it right in there right and I'm going to say update Let's just have a look right so look at that we've got this little uh, accordion set right here on the left hand side on the right hand side here's the video obviously I'm going to have to make the video a bit smaller so I can just go in here let's just have a look and where's this video and let's make it a bit smaller refresh this and that should be a bit better now All right and there's the video it can actually be a bit bigger and bigger than that as well but as you can see it's working very very nicely and I can go and I can go and paste some different content on the right um, so if you're not using this on your websites please do start using this type of functions because it allows your visitors to move quickly it engages them better because what's going to happen is they are going to look for something specific and you are going to give them that information and then they're going to see um, I want to see if there's services and they're going to say I like the services and they would like and if, if they like what they see they're going to go to the features and they're going to have a look and they're going to like that and then they're going to do the contact and they're going to get to you they didn't even read about the about page and they didn't even read the other page um, so you didn't waste their time with unnecessary content um, that they didn't have to read okay so that's that for the tabs and accordions function 